Good evening, good evening, wherever you are. Back again, another video. Kitchen. JV, AKA the Spice Box. So, gonna show you today, we have a jalapeno wrapper right here, tortilla. No, not tortilla, just jalapeno wrap. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show a pizza out of this. So I got a preheated pan. I have a pan to put the pizza in the oven. The oven is ready. I have it at 375. Probably could be a little lower, but that's how I'm rocking. And all we're gonna do first is, oh, wait. I got some grilled chicken that I sliced up. I made uh, roasted garlic sauce. I got some cheddar jack blend cheese and I got some sauteed peppers, scallions. Would be nice if I include what's in the contents of the pizza, right? Anyway, so we're gonna spray the pan and we're gonna toast. We're gonna toast the wrap. Very, very simple. Get your, um, get your rubber tongs or your silicone tip tongs. So, you know, when you're in the pot, you don't scratch anything and want to be fancy and all that stuff. Hope everybody's doing good out there. Um, I am in a very stressful environment work-wise and things like that because you know, with, with, with what's going on out there with the COVID-19, like I'm seeing death almost every day or every other day. So this is like my escape. This and, you know, driving the car fast and um, actually working out, which I'm getting back into now. I'm gonna start filming that as well. All right, so we have it, we're gonna turn it. As you can see, we got the nice color that we want. You want this a little toasted and a little crisp while you're toasting it because this is gonna be the shell of the pizza and we want it to be, um, you know, don't want it to have that much play in it. We want it to be nice and toasted and firm. And um, that'll be nice, that'll be that. This is actually a eight inch. I have to go find this particular saute pan just to saute this because the other ones I usually have are like six and seven. Got a um, non-stick pan that I actually found in the bottom of the oven, which was a beautiful thing because I would have had to go to the store. So shout out to whoever left these pans and never used them in the bottom of the oven. Fun fact. Matter of fact, let me spray that. go so let's check let's check the bottom of this and there we go almost done a little more just a little more remember we wanted a little crisp this is the body of the pizza so almost there so yeah anyway like i said with the covid19 thing going on like you know it, it's a little difficult just to keep your sanity nowadays, especially with what people have to endure as being normal on a regular basis. I work in a healthcare facility, so I'm an essential worker and I'm just all day, every day, I'm surrounded by it and I gotta deal with it and people passing away and whatever. And they just announce names and want you to move on and keep working. like. You know, it, it, it's amazing what they want to be normal and regular today. But anyway, not gonna complain about that. Just a little backstory on what's going on. Hopefully everything in your family and is good with everyone out there and that's it. All right, so this is done, got a nice color. I'm gonna load it up into the pan. Remember, we already sprayed the pan, so that's that. Actually, let's do a little switch. Okay, so you can see 
or the ingredients of what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna put the sauce first. Start in the middle and swirl it out and then start making your way towards the outside. And that's it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you know, you're basically trying to make a pizza without, you know, going to the store and you're using maybe things you have in your house or maybe you see this video and now you put these things in your house so you know that you can make a pizza. So whatever the case may be. All right, so we put that. I'm gonna put a little bit of the cheese, just a little. Um, not gonna finish it yet because we wanna put a chicken. Chicken breast grilled and then sliced. Very simple. No particular way of putting it, just put it and you know, however your heart desires and just keep it going from there. You don't even really have to even, this was two chicken breasts, but you don't really have to use it all, but yeah, I don't really use it all. That's good, so I'll do that. And the peppers. Just a yellow pepper and a green pepper sauteed. And I did that for the contrast with the color. I'm real big on colors. I like pretty things, so I like pretty food. Makes me feel better about myself and hopefully the people eating from me feel good about eating the pretty food that hopefully they think I make. Ha! Anyway, scallions. Just like that, not too much, not too little, whatever. And then, now, a little more cheese, All right? Not to kill it like a pizza pizza, but just to cover it, um, you know, so you have a coating. Because since the bottom is already toasted, it doesn't really need to cook that long. We're just melting the cheese. Here we go. And we're gonna put some fresh cracked pepper. Cause that's just how I roll. Fresh cracked pepper is the best. Full of flavor. And some pepper flakes, red pepper flakes, of course. Cause what's pizza without red pepper flakes? And yeah, why not? Go crazy. And see, non-stick. That's what we're working with. That's what we got. Let's pop it in the oven. 375. Just like so in the middle. And we're gonna check on that in another five minutes. All right, so five minutes, actually maybe seven minutes later. Look at that. Nice, crispy. Pizza. So we're gonna place this bad boy right there. Close the oven. Oh, actually no, we're gonna put it on the cutting board. Look at that. You gotta love the one-handed cameraman angles. I'm just saying, like that's not that's not easy to do. I'm just saying. Anyway, look at that bad boy. Look at that. Alright, so let's cut it. And let's get the pizza effect going on. So, you know, got that German German seal. Just slice it like a regular pizza. Actually, no, we don't want to slice it like a regular pizza. Because if you slice it too, like, thin, it won't hold. So, you want to slice it maybe in four. So, you know, I got, see what I'm saying? Look at that. That's because we toasted it. It's perfect. So, boom. Now we slice the other part. Boom. See? Put the knife right there. We got the white plate right here. <clears throat> plate up is very simple. We're going to go corner to 
corner. So boom, boom. Actually, look at that. We only need the three. No, actually, we only need the two. It's kind of a big portion. I didn't expect it to be that big. Remember, I don't pre-do videos. Like, I, I don't believe that's authentic. So we got the chop scallion here. Just a little more on the side of the plate. Just, you know, some pretty effects, whatever. And boom. Here you got it. We have uh, jalapeno wrap pizza. Pretty simple. Pretty nice. Like I said, it has that body. Look at that. It's not going anywhere. Got the crunch and you know hope you enjoy so going forward you know all these things i'm dealing with on my mind and things like that i think i'm gonna start doing a video a day now you could hold me to that you know it's all good i'm up for the challenge but like tv's not really doing it for me no more like you can't hang out there's just a lot of you know neg negativity out there so i kind of I'm really feeling filming the videos. I love cooking. So I'm just going to share more of that. And hopefully, you know, you guys really enjoy what I'm going to bring to the table. Anyway, JV signing out. Thanks for viewing. All the new subscribers, I thank you. I appreciate you. And let's get it. Ripping and rolling.